The truth is funny. With Colette Steffen, we'll have you thinking outside the box and riding the wave of infinite potential. Join Colette on the Higher Self Network as she provides energetic shifts and consistent results in every area of life, inspiring listeners to shine their brilliance and ensure success. Many people who shift out of limiting beliefs roar with laughter as they recognize the humor of the giant cosmic joke. The truth is funny. Shift happens. Feel instant relief. Stay tuned for more fun and release struggle and suffering. And now, here's your host, Colette Steffen. Hi, everyone. This is Colette Marie Steffen, and you are listening to The Truth is Funny on Transformation Talk Network. We're also live on Facebook, and I'm taking callers today, 1-800-930-2819. Um, and we're going to be on YouTube later, as usual. So this is the last show of, of 2020, and this is Nuggets of Wisdom from the Vector. And so I'm going to share the, um, new, the, the last dragon in the new year next show <laughs> for Tales. Excuse me, that's when the dragon, the Tales from the Vector show is, because we don't quite have that part of the site done yet. But um, I'm happy to say that I fell in love <laughs> um, with my homepage. <laughs> so, and now um, it's, uh, we're almost done like the meat of it. And, but I'm, what I want to tell everybody is I, um, I've been getting emails from you. Like, when are you, when are you, what programs are you having? When are you, uh, um, please, <laughs> you have to understand that, um, you know, my team and I have been working every single day all year. <laughs> we're tired. <laughs> and, you know, we're still working, but we're, um, we're dealing with a lot of people that are, you know, displaced, etc., upset. And so I just want to tell, you know, just say to everybody, um, you know, just calm down. I know it's a really, it's a, this energy right now is very trying. Everybody wants to get the hell out of 2020. <laughs> but um, we could end up being like looking at this as the good old days. So that's, that's one of the things that I have learned the most from the current situation that we're in is that um, oh my God, if ever there was a time where we needed to be kind with each other, now is that time. Because I am talking to so many different people from around the world that are just feeling displaced. Um, I mean, just displaced. And it's Christmas and people, um, I don't know, there's like, I'm being told that in Saskatchewan, you can be fined up to $7,500 for having your mother over for Christmas. <laughs> Okay. So, you know, and then I thought it was kind of um, funny when I also told people uh, that, you know, I have a lot of clients at Christmas generally anyway, because around the holiday season in between Christmas and New Year's, the expectations of the general population climb very, very high. And a lot of people get really, really sentimental and um, have memories that they're holding on to that, um, you know, are beautiful, sentimental me memories. And this time of year is very special for so many people. And so, uh, and so to not be able to meet as family at this time has really devastated a lot of people. And so I, I've done my best throughout the year to remain as calm as I can on this show, um, despite many things going on in my own life also as, you know, uh, for one, <laughs> I wasn't allowed to go earn a living this year. <laughs> and at first I was quite patient with it, but then, you know, when I see um, all, you know, children going out from door to door to Halloween, but I can't go to work, it was challenging for me. And so, you know, just th this show is called The Truth is Funny. And it is <laughs> like we're in some very strange times. And many metaphysical people and astrological people who people who are um, that I talk to that are really into this type of uh, work um, have been predicting the, you know, that we went into the age of Aquarius, if you're into astrology, in 2012. 
And a lot of people, if you look back at 2012, you will find that perhaps um, that was quite a rocky year too. Um, that was around the time I know in my own life because I'm scrapbooking. <laughs> and I have something um, to, to say about that. But 2012, many people that I talked to um, towards the end of 2012 made major transformational moves in their careers and their business. Um, they moved from one place to another, another country from another. Um, and that was kind of like the, the birth of the, the birth <laughs> of the age of Aquarius. And a lot of people, um, a few people have asked me, I don't understand, like if we were in Pisces, and now we're going into Aquarius, it feels like we're going backwards. So that's just um, uh, from an astrological point of, uh, or from a point of view in the chart. And I'm, I'm not going to get into all the um, astrolo uh, astrological aspects of it. But having said that, the age of Aquarius is like um, Aquarian uh, energy is about air. It's about thought. It's about um, about uh, expanded thinking, intellect, um, refinement of ideas, um, authority. It's, it's, it's Aquarius. It's, it's um, a lot of times people um, in the past have, ref uh, in particular around the 60s, they talked about the age of Aquarius, kind of like hippies dancing and <laughs> all of that. So, um, but it's actually a very, um, moving into the air signs out of the water signs. And so the Piscean energy is a very watery, fishy, <laughs> you know, it's deep, it's spiritual, it's emotional. And then we're moving from that into this like intellectual um, age. And it's kind of like for a lot of people being like a fish out of water. So basically, that's what's happening. But if you remember, the two, uh, the symbol for Pisces is the two fishes' tails tied tight like this, and then they're trying to swim in different directions. So we're basically birthing in an age that many people have been waiting a long time for, talking about for a long time. But I, I had a um, someone ask me this also. Um, if it's 26,000 years to move from here to here, because I've been asking this too, I thought we were supposed to be all like loving and, you know, holding and, and, and in this age of Aquarius. And it seems to be like the opposite or it's like, it's very um, volatile and change is always volatile. And if you think about a 26,000 period and we're what we started, it's 2020. So eight years ago. So um, I, I have a feeling that in 2021, patience might also be a virtue. <laughs> and so I'm going to um, read the portion of my book. I'm just checking. Uh, I just want to check with you, Olivia. I forgot to put my chat on here. <laughs> and I'm just making sure that I am not running over too far over time here. We're just about three minutes out. Oh, perfect. Okay, so... I um, forgot that I had, um, first of all, my scrapbooking. I'm going to tell you, this is so funny. Well, it's not actually, <laughs> I'm tired of scrapbooking. But I realized that in the last 15 years of my life, I have never really had the time like I have in this past year to really get organized like I want to. I mean, I got all my books organized. I've Marie kondo my house three times. <laughs> But I, at the same time, um, want to get my business and this information organized because to be able to put this on an online program and make it work and have it like really functional and to take it to the new heights that I want to take it to. Um, I may have mentioned on the last shows a few times that I really want now, now that I'll have a, a a way of sharing the information and people taking my courses online. I want to then when people have taken these courses, I want to build things with people. And so I've been, I've been working in the background to, um, you know, with a few people and I'll have more about that in the new year. 
But when I got to 2012 um, in my scrapbooking, that I came across 2016. And this is when I went to Peru. And uh, I went to the jungle and I did uh, ceremonies, quite a few ceremonies, and then went up to Machu Picchu. But um, the elevation is so high, you have to uh, acclimatize in between. So I went to this to um, this yoga studio resort where they 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 make vegan food. And um, the owner of this is a German. Um, she's a German couple. That she moved there. And um, the, the art um, I just want to show of Armando Romero. He's a famous artist in um, Peru there. And he and I, I, I'm an early riser. And so is he. So we would sit and have coffee in the morning. And he had a book on his coffee table. That was the story of a shaman <laughs> and his journey. Like it was about 60 years old and it had all these beautiful paintings of his visions. And then he had little drawings in there and he had like, you know, story, like, cause it wasn't when people used a lot of photography and he told me, you need to do that and put your travels down and then um, put your paintings of your visions in a book like that. And so I was wondering why I was taking so long to do this, but I realized that I actually have my scrapbook half finished. And Olivia has been, um, my producer here, has been um, transcripting <laughs> and, uh, for my blog for me and picking out the parts that are um, the juiciest. <laughs> and with that information and now with my scrapbook, I realized that um, that book that, Ar that that Armando and I worked on like four years ago is half done. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> We're going to go to a break now. <laughs> I was just like, wow, that was so such good news. <laughs> we'll be right back. 1-800-930-2819 if you would like to make some shift to happen. Has your kindness been used against you? Are you ready to clear the confusion and reconnect with your power? Then it's time to become Toxic Person Proof. Join Toxic Relationship Specialist Sarah K. Ramsey as she gives you the secrets to rebuilding and rebranding your life after a toxic person encounter. It's time to get past the past, get real about the present, and get serious about your future. For more information, visit sarahkramsey.com. I'm Patricia McNair, host of Divine Guidance with Patricia, and I'm here to help you live a more authentic, spiritually connected life. Join me every first and third Wednesday at 9 a.m. Pacific on TransformationTalkRadio.com. Being who you are in everyday life is the key to unlocking soul wisdom within that our whole self already knows. Get ready to embrace your spiritual, mental, and emotional well-being, your whole being. Discover your gifts and strengthen your connection to spirit. We will explore earth guidance, divine truth, and love, past life lessons, and so much more. So listen in to Divine Guidance with Patricia and join in your personal adventure to triggering, opening, validating, and being all that you are. For more information about me, visit divineguidance.earth. A word of caution, if you prefer the status quo and you are not interested in improving every aspect of your life, this book will trigger the shift out of you. The Truth is Funny, Shift Happens is available now. Author Colette Steffen brings the powerful knowledge and life-changing energy and empowerment from the radio airwaves to the pages of her new book. To get your copy in paperback or ebook, visit thetruthisfunny.com today. Juggling life's relentless demands can leave us unbalanced and restless. Do you feel stuck in the overwhelm? Diane McClay is a personal empowerment coach, author, and compassionate storyteller on a mission to boost you into balance and help you move forward with passion and purpose. Get unstuck with Diane on The Diane McClay Show every second and fourth Friday at 1.30 p.m. Pacific on TransformationTalkRadio.com. 
For more information about Diane, visit dianemcclay.com. Mind to Heart with me, Craig Richardson, carves a pathway from your mind to your heart to activate that innate compass to overcome whatever life sends your way. As an intuitive life coach, I am ready to guide you to an amazing life. Tune in live every second and fourth Friday at 9 a.m. Pacific on TransformationTalkRadio.com. For more information about me, visit CraigERichardson.com. Hi, everyone. This is Colette Marie Steffen. You're listening to The Truth is Funny. We are on Transformation Talk Network, and we're also live on Facebook, and we are going to be on YouTube later. And so it's been a, um, um, a, a, a really different year for all of us, and this is the last show, and I decided that I would bring my um, dragons out on Tales from the Vector in the next show um, because the energy just feels kind of like not quite ready. But I'm going to read um, for you from my book, Nuggets from the um, Vector. And um, uh, what happened is it flipped to the last page. And I thought, oh, yeah. (laughs) In my book, um, the beginning is foreplay and the end is climax. So (laughs) Um, the the dichotomy is this. The climax is an anticlimax. As... As you uh, clear energetic up, uh, blocks and put these blocks into practice, you will remember what you have always known. All the answers and healing are within you. The joke is that um, that more uh, seriously, uh, the more seriously you take yourself, sorry, the light isn't quite that good with the way I'm set up here. The more seriously you take yourself uh, on uh, on on this perfectly imperfect journey called your life, the more challenging life is. So it is highly, highly um, unlikely that in any given moment, you would be able to be 100% uh, at infinite potential for the entire, for the entire journey. This does not mean that you do not, that like when you go weak, it does not mean that you are weak. It means that you are strong when um, it is highly unlikely that in any given moment you will find an energetic, uh, you'll always be able to find an energetic weakness. And it's unlikely that you will always be 100% strong. I'm just sort of summarizing here Uh, because I'm finding that as I've gone through this journey, I'm starting to realize that I want to rewrite the beginning and the end of my book because I'm starting to understand on a higher level, because a lot of this information was information I gathered over a 10 year period. I put it together as logically as I could. And now um, it's coming back to me as I go back in time and I, I go through it. And I'm, I, most of what I wrote is very much uh, like throughout the, the, the meat of the book, I wouldn't change a word but just on the front end and the back end. So I find it really interesting when I read this this morning and I'm kind of correcting it as I go here. So the more you clear energy, the faster the ride, just so you know, there is no, there's no pill. I think most of us have figured that out this year now. (laughs) And, um, you know, we are, um, you are um, going to, I've got to get my my monocle because the light here is, I should have turned the light on here. Sorry. I'm resetting up my studio. And uh, there we go. So it is highly unlikely that in any given moment, you will uh, not find an energetic weakness. This does not mean that you are weak. It means you are strong. So the more you clear energy, the faster the ride. It's kind of like a roller coaster. So when you chug up the top, the thrill of the drop is not far from your mind. And once you reach the bottom, there is another loop to contend with. Sometimes you want to yell to the controller, let me off. (laughs) That's this year. (laughs) And at other times you want to, you get off the ride and you just can't wait to get back on it again. And so the universe has a great sense of humor 
And the final um, words that I wrote in this book were written on Mother's Day. <laughs> um, and Mother's Day is a very, very special day for me because my oldest daughter was born on Mother's Day on May 13th. And going back in time again, this is something that I also realized is that I purchased the house that I'm in and they accepted my offer on Mother's Day, May 13th, 2013. <laughs> and I was at uh, in Vancouver teaching my last seminar uh, for modality and I was about to embark on this journey of um, rebranding and here I am I started um, I rebranded to the truth is funny and began this radio show and it was eight I'm like I was like what it was eight years ago and I'm going back in time and I realized that um, like Kim who's been doing a lot <laughs> of work in the back, you know, with graphics, her and I have known each other longer than I've known most of my boyfriends. <laughs> so we were laughing about that. Um, it's a really interesting journey when you go back and you take a look. And I got very, uh, because a lot of people say, well, if energy work is so great and it works, why do bad things still happen? And Olivia was just asking me if it's the age of Aquarius, then what does it mean for people? Like, because I'm finding a lot of the people that I talk to are really, um, who have done a lot of work on themselves are finding this time to be extremely calm and peaceful. And um, a lot of people uh, on the 21st, they experienced a major shift in energy with that Jupiter-Saturn conjunction. And that's something that Caleb was talking about um, when he was on the show last. And I just wanted to extend a really big thank you to Caleb for coming on the show and doing that. Because I've had, as I said, I have people that their mom and their dad and family members are in hospital or they're in homes or they're wherever and they are not able to connect with them. And um, at Christmas, it's way harder. It's just harder. And so I just want to energetically just tune in because as I was reading this, there's so much energy that poured through. Um, it's kind of like oh, a lot of people are saying like they don't understand what's happened. Um, they don't understand, you know, where, like, how are we supposed to? Um, move forward from this point with optimism going into the new year. And all I can share with you right now is um, how I do it um, and how I've done it. And um, I find for myself, the very best way is mm -hmm. to get neutral as you can possibly get so that you're not reacting to the energy. What you're doing is you're responding to it. And so when you realize, like when I wrote this book, when, you know, it was so much work, it was so much work and I, a work of love, a labor of love, of course, but the last words were written also on May 13th. Uh, uh, and so it's, or on Mother's Day, it wasn't on, it wasn't, it wasn't um, uh, May 13th, that Mother's Day. And so um, I've noticed that there's certain rhythms in life. And um, that we have a tendency that certain dates um, stand out more strongly in certain people's lives than others. And I've also noticed that a lot of people, um, when they get in touch with like Christmas past and all the good times that they've had, that for them, um, sometimes that is um, having like kind of a reverse perception on them. And instead of being able to take that feeling and be able to um, move into that feeling and enjoy this time as much as possible, what's happening is a lot of people are, are having what I call reverse perception, which um, 
it happens quite often in when there's a death in the family or a death in the way of being or living. And I feel that basically that's where we're headed towards. Um, Olivia, are we ready to go to break now? Yeah, we can go to break. Oh, okay. Um, I just wanted to make sure we don't have any callers. I'm just really like, I just would like two more minutes here to just shift this for everybody. Yeah, go for it. Yeah, like, cause I, like I can feel Olivia, I'm using her as my barometer. <laughs> <laughs> um, because I was explaining that from my understanding of the symbol of the age of Aquarius, um, it looks like the person's carrying this vessel and they're pouring water out, but it's not water, it's knowledge. And I feel like it's the fluidity of our reality right now. And so, as I said, I've had, I've been connecting with quite a few people um, are contacting me and they're asking like, you know, um, what, would, what do I feel is the best way to proceed into the new year um, in this line of work, et cetera. And so we'll talk a little bit about that when we come back. As I said, if anyone wants to call in just to say hi, I know I, I, I know some of you have managed <laughs> to be able to be with family and I hope that you're visiting with someone right now. And if not, do feel free if you just want to call in and say hi to us. one 800 930 2819. We'll be right back right after this. The Truth is Funny, Shift Happens with Colette Marie Steffen is excited to welcome Karen Benton as a monthly guest host. Tune in on the third Wednesday of each month at 8 a.m. Pacific time to regain confidence and trust in your capacity to create change in your life, your health, your family, and your well-being. Karen Benton is a mother, nurse practitioner, certified body talk practitioner, Franklin Method instructor, and owner of Limitless Living LLC. For more information about Karen, visit KarenBenton.com. Are you trying to lose weight, but feel guilty for eating your favorite foods? Feeling deprived and resentful makes for results that aren't sustainable. Join Adrian Craig every second and fourth Friday at 12 p.m. Pacific on TransformationTalkRadio.com for her show, Master Your Mindset for a Weight Loss Breakthrough. Learn to love the journey and watch yourself succeed. For more information about Adrian or to work with her personally, visit LifeCanyon.com. Hi, I'm Laura Goldstein, and here's a Coffee with the Universe tip. Let me ask you, how do you start your day? Do you wake up anxious and on edge, already feeling the pressure of your giant to-do list? Or do you wake up feeling calm, collected, and excited to start your day? Here's the little secret. How you start your day sets the tone and foundation for the rest of your day. A stressed morning creates a stressed, just reacting to everything day. A calm and connected to self morning leads to aligned and confident choices that help you reach your goals. So take a good look at your morning routine. What can you do to set up a healthy foundation for your day? To get some ideas and a sneak peek into my own Coffee with the Universe morning routine, go to www.coffeewiththeuniverse.net. When was the last time you had that feeling that you knew something, but you couldn't explain how you knew it? How powerful would it be for your life and business if you could consciously tap into that magic within you? What if you could remember that there's something supernatural about you? Tune in to Absolute Alignment with Christelle Biga when success feels easy. Every first and third Friday at 1.30 p.m. Pacific, 4.30 Eastern on TransformationTalkRadio.com. Are you ready to branch out? Take a leap of faith. Tune in to Get Rooted Radio with Erica Gifford Mills on TransformationTalkRadio.com to equip, empower, and enlighten yourself. Erica will energize and excite you to power up your passionate dream that sets your soul on fire. So get fearlessly ready and get powerfully rooted in your yes to live it up, love it up, and let it go. Visit GetRootedRadio.com.
Hi, this is Colette Marie Stephan. You're listening to The Truth is Funny on Transformation Talk Network. And we're live on Facebook. And uh, we're also going to be on YouTube later. And we do have a caller. So we'll take the caller, Olivia. Yeah, we've got Raul from Seattle. Raul, you are on <laughs> with Colette Marie Stephan. Hey, you. Hello, Colette. You're surviving the um, um, situation. <laughs> <laughs> The situation, yeah, I am surviving it. Good. Um, How are you doing? I, I, you know, there's a few things that you describe. Uh, you know, the beginning, the end of the book, and the stuff. I was paying attention. I, I'm, I'm doing okay. Uh, you know, it's been a while since we since we spoke, mm -hmm. but um, today again, you know, I've been you know back here in the city. Uh, living with mom and sister, you know, this been, I think it's been like eight months or so, seven. It doesn't mm -hmm. really matter. <laughs> it's, I feel like well, I'm mad at, I'm, I'm, hmm? it, you know, um, in the old days back in, you know, February 2020, it would have mattered. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't it? Like, that's what I, that's what I'm saying to you. It's like, um, basically people have been forced just to stop. Having said that, um, sometimes like it's a good idea to stop and just breathe and take, you know, take note of where you are. Um, I'm finding that a lot of people right now are having a lot of ancestors come through. Um, have you been noticing that? I know you, because you're with your mom, but like, do you have anyone that's passed? Um, yeah, I mean, last year I had two relatives that passed away while I was my adventure in Chile. Uh, mm -hmm. I, I, I think that th this time lately has allowed me to see... Uh, I mean, like, like I said, like I was gonna say, is like I'm gonna come full circle in a two five second ex uh, explanation. Today I feel angry. I'm angry mm -hmm. at I have I, I, I'm angry that I've had a lot of anger suppressed for such a long time. Mm -hmm. uh, I have a lot of resentment suppressed for a long time, and that's not only mine. And I I see my mom. Okay, today. so I'm not this... blessed to be around my mom. Mm -hmm. Okay, so just take a deep breath here. Because I, I, I want to use you kind of, because a lot of people are expressing exactly this. So thank you for being able to say it, you know. Um, what number are you at? Ten being like hair on fire, press the panic button, and zero being ah, I'm neutral, you know. Seven and eight. Okay, so when you get in touch with the anger, um, what I tell people is be very careful right now. Because anger is an emotion that um, for some people, many people use it for motivation. And so um, anger, uh, some people are, are very used to driving themselves very hard with anger when they're desperate or when they're afraid. Or when they don't know what to do, they like if they get angry, then they can find the strength to do something. And that's because there is actually a physiological and, you know, um, psychological and many other chemical reactions happening when you're in this state. Having said that, it would be a good idea for people to ask just to stop when you start to feel. And everybody has like um, some indication that they're going into that place of anger, like, or, uh, or like the trigger. And what I've been, uh, as I said, I've been working a lot with some, with some people that <clears throat> I feel I'm honored that they're calling me at this time and that they, cause they're very, very, very good at what they do. Um, they just want another perspective. And my perspective is kind of different from a lot of other people's perspective because of the fact that most of what is going on um, now that is shocking to people, that is surprising to people. I wrote about <laughs> 15 years ago or five, five. I started collecting the data 15 years ago. I wrote a book 
um, about my dad's experience. I wrote, I've told people about my mom's experience. And so mm, I had a passion to share this information because when I was going through like a lot of what we're going through now, I was going through, um, you know, when my dad collapsed, he had Guillain-Barre syndrome. You know, if you ever saw someone in a 36 hour period going to complete system shutdown and he's the rock of your family, it was disturbing to say the least. And so, uh, you know, and so when going through those times and then also, you know, going back and forth across the country for five years teaching seminars and um, for the last two months of my mother's life, not being allowed to see her because we, we were protecting her from the flu. And I and that was back in 2010. And so I've already not gotten to be with my mom. I did get to be with her I did, um, when she was passing, when before her spirit left her body. <clears throat> I just made it in time. But I did not get to talk to my mom uh, or to be able to speak to her because she was in a coma. And... Um, so I understand a lot of the emotions that a lot of people are going through. And that's what I like. That's why I worked. I, I've taken three days off since this happened because I understand how disturbing it is. Having said that, um, I feel now that enough people ha- have um, experienced maybe things that they had never experienced before at this time. And I'm talking all sorts of us in all sorts of different ways because so many of us have had our, our lives just go like this. And um, this is not a good or a bad thing. What it is is um, what happens is when the energy becomes stagnant and um, – we, we raise certain individuals as um, like higher and look up to leaders like as, oh, they know way more and all that and put them on a pedestal. Anytime you put anyone on a pedestal, they only have one place to go down <laughs> unless they mm-hmm. can tell a transport, right? <laughs> I'm working on it. Beam me up, Scotty. <laughs> so I just, <laughs> I just want to check in when now uh, what your number is, Ralph. Has it dropped? Well, I was, uh, now, um, maybe a little, because I was still kind of stuck trying to um, sort of tell you part of the reason why I'm mad. I think uh, um, there's a, the, the, uh, the upset part or the anger is part of it for the, from the past from the past mm-hmm. ancestry, like you were talking about, uh, the stuff that I decided to carry for the family, the stuff mm-hmm. that I haven't been able to do still with my life. And mm-hmm. the thing that I came full circle back home, I mean, I had the last two years been the most exciting years of my life. But today mm-hmm. I find out that I'm the same place with the same physical issues, with the same, with the same emotional attachments, with the same difficulties that I had in the past, the same anger, the same programming. I feel like I haven't gone forward. That's why I feel full circle. And that even makes me more mad. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because you know the story. I, do. I you know absolutely the story. do. It's like, so now, okay, so take a deep breath. We work with so many things. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Take a deep breath because I just want to share something with you. I want to get a number from you right now. Like when you think about how angry you are, 10 is, you know, that angry. And zero is on neutral. Where are you? Um, just the fact that I was able to explain to you clearly, it made me bring it lower to seven. There we go. So this is awesome because I'm using you as sort of a barometer here to bring the energy down to a, a level where people start to understand that anger is just a gift that keeps on giving. Um, there is such a thing as righteous anger. Righteous anger uh, is when um, something is happening and someone that um, cannot protect themselves is um, having something horrible happen and you speak up for them because they are not, they are not able to speak up for themselves. That's righteous anger. Um, righteous anger is also when you absolutely know that, um, that whatever someone, that something that has happened is not um, 
clean is the only way I would say it. So um, neutral and what you use the word same, I think, well, four, four or five times. Did you notice that? No. Yeah. <laughs> Olivia, can we just skip the next break? And I'm just going to keep um, energetically shifting here with Raul because I feel like we're really doing good work for people here. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. All right. Um, so you use the word same. I, I counted four or five times. And um, the word same, you said, uh, uh, if I believe uh, that... Uh, my life is the same. I have the same mm-hmm. body issues. I have the same um, problems. I have the same financial mm-hmm. issues. And that's absolutely, can you feel it? It is such weak energy, what you just said. It is so inaccurate. Like if you walk around in your life and you tell yourself that, you will have a very challenging time to rise above it. Because it is um, absolutely impossible for it to be the same. Um, Mm -hmm. You see, and a big part of this, this is why um, I'm not uh, uh, um, good at math. And I have a tendency to um, be a little bit uh, dyslexic. I read books from the back to the front. Generally, if I pick up a magazine or, and even in my journals, I'll find I wrote from the back to the front of the book. Um, and this is a line of sight thing. And a lot of times when that's happening, it's because um, someone has had more lifetimes when they read that way. And it's just that simple. <laughs> and they have that actual memory in their central nervous system, in their hard drive. And that's the way that they've had more lifetimes, if you want to call it lifetimes, or more realities or more experiences of reading this way instead of this way. And when that is energetically shifted, quite often, um, people will be able to, um, children that are having a lot of trouble reading, if, if you energetically shift that for them, their line of sight will become so much stronger and they'll be able to read from the front to the, you know, both ways. And so, but you could go an entire lifetime thinking that you have a problem with reading or that you have maybe been diagnosed with something that causes that, but they would not have looked into, Oh, is it um, coming from inside this person or is it coming from outside this person? Which is what I tested. So if it's an external force coming from outside, then that means it's not really you, your core energy of who you are that is saying this, this is what you've been shown or taught is the problem. And this is the problem with um, energy work, trying to explain it logically, because there, it's not logical. You can put, you can, you can tune back in and you can like, you know, part of the reason, for instance, why, I have taken so long to do this scrapbooking thing. It's not because I like scrapbooking. I'll never scrapbook again. I haven't even got my baby pictures of my daughters done with this. But the thing is that I I am energetically shifting every picture. I'm tuning in and I'm asking myself, is that me in that picture? Is that really me? Or is that who I was back then? Is that still me? Because <laughs> if I'm going to do a website, I need to know, right? And that is something mm-hmm. very interesting that a lot of people, so when you say same, same, and you said it five times, same problem, it's impossible. It cannot happen. Because when um, in, in a lot of textbooks, uh, the way people are taught is that, you know, like we're going around and like, it's kind of like that Groundhog Day movie. That's not how it goes. Um, What's happening is we're spinning and spiraling through space. And as we're doing that, we're never in the same place. The sun's not in the same place. The moon's not in the same place. The earth's not in the same place. Nothing's ever in the same place. So it's impossible to go back and repeat anything exactly. And most people can um, um, understand this better 
if they've ever had the experience of where you've had a holiday and you just loved it. And so you've got to go back there and you want to repeat that experience because it was the best holiday ever. And then you go back there with the same people at the same hotel with the, and the weather is great and it's a year later and it sucks. Why do you think that is wrong? Um, I think it's just the energy because we're not the same. But, but I was I was thinking about something. Just something came up because I actually mm-hmm. when you when I when you bring up that word same, and I was like maybe I was, it's not the same. It's impossible, and I'm being contrarian here. Maybe I'm just going backwards. Maybe for <laughs> a slingshot fault. Maybe re- getting ready for a slingshot forward. That's the thought that I got. You know what I mean? Okay, so I, I love this. Okay, so think about it this way. Have you heard about, about um, like, when you think about um, the golden ratio and, and how, how nature counts, right? One plus one mm-hmm. is two. And then nature re- um, then goes back in and, and two grabs one and becomes three. And then three goes back in time and grabs two and becomes five. And then five goes back in time and grabs three and becomes eight. And by that point, you are now, if you were a, a, a fertilized egg, you are now um, about to, you know, you're a human being. And so if the process of building something as beautiful as a baby <laughs> is a dance that goes back and forth and sideways, then why would your, the life that you came to live as a human being, as a baby, be like, that's kind of like, have you ever watched, like say in North Korea, how they march? (laughs) Yeah, yeah. Do you want to be marching like that? Or do you want (laughs) to? No, you don't. <laughs> Do you want to dance to your? You know that, uh, we 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 talked about this about four years ago, and I was in my old ugly job, and you explained to me about going back and forth mm-hmm. and about dancing. Mm-hmm. And say, yeah, you <laughs> explain it differently. I just remember okay. it. In the, in the yeah, radio so that's show. what's that's what's happening for me. Is Um, Right now, because I'm shifting so much myself, partly because I'm going back in time and I'm correcting all this energy, going back in time, looking at what I wrote, how can I improve it? How can I say it better? How can I do this on an online program? (laughs) And I'm so excited about it because now I'm like, I figured it out how I'm going to do it. And I'm happy. And uh, um, when I get now all the people from all around the world that I got to meet with before can take my seminar if they weren't able to before. And then when we meet, we can build shift instead of correcting it. What do you think? <laughs> I, yeah, I agree. You know, Sounds good. <laughs> if, if you want to have a strong future, you need to participate in it now because the past, present and future are all one. So what we are doing right now is we are laying the groundwork to move into 2021 in the age of Aquarius in a new way. <clears throat> and what time is it, Olivia, just to make sure I don't go over? It's about <laughs> 52, so we've got about... Oh, we got... Good. Okay. <laughs> I, wanna, I want to talk a little bit about this role because this is coming up for you as a weakness and, and, and um, I have a lot of respect for your ability to be able to stay calm and, and, and the energy work that I know you have done. So um, using you as a barometer here, I'm just strengthening this for a lot of people listening right now because <clears throat> the, the transition um, of birth and death is the same, basically. Um, you know, both of them, like, uh, like I, have, I have had two babies. And I'll tell you, um, right at that point where um, you're really wanting to push, and you're really wanting to push, <laughs> and they're telling you, no, 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 don't push because, like, you're only at eight centimeters and it won't work, like, it won't work. <laughs> And, and you'll just exhaust yourself. 
you'll just tire yourself out. But you're having these major contractions and you're being squeezed, you know, and you're like, oh, like you just want, you just, you're, you're, it's so hard to listen to the people and breathe and just not push at the wrong, like, but then if you wait and you rest just for that 30 seconds or so, and then the contraction hits and you're not resisting it and you're not fighting it, then 30% of women have an orgasmic experience when they do that, giving birth. Mm -hmm. And they don't talk Mm -hmm. about that. And that's very, very similar for life itself. Death is also a squeeze. But um, I was very, very blessed to work with Majaya Sati Bhagavati and after um, looking after so many people who were dying of AIDS when no one else would, um, what happened is I think they had over 1,008 names on their boards out there just in Florida alone of mothers and children. At first it was just men and then it was mothers and children who had died. And I was very blessed because when my mom passed, I went out there in the ashram, prayed for my mom. And Ma held me and and put her forehead on mine and hugged me. And um, she learned so much. She taught me so much about karma and about what that really means. And so, and about what being like, um, um, like you, you won't help anyone. You won't be able to empower anyone if you lower your vibration. For anyone. So being angry for you is um, not going to empower you. And so what you need to do is really identify what emotion is it that you are really feeling. Because I'm getting that you're feeling grief. Disappointment, something to that extent. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah. And yeah, yeah you yeah. feel like so like if you acknowledge and so it's a mixed emotion that you're feeling mixed emotions are the most mm-hmm. challenging emotions to deal with like if I drive by the hospital where my where my dad passed and where my mom passed that's also the same place where I had both my babies so mm. The most, the most beautiful, wonderful moments in my life where I got to hold my babies and the most challenging, sad moments of my life where I watched my dad suffer for four years and, mm. you know, and, and where I said goodbye to my mother. And so those mixed emotions are what most of us are feeling right now. Mm. And so we're all kind mm. of dying a little bit of a death here. And a lot of times when people say the same, when you were using that word so much, it's because people are craving the same. But your weakness is actually not that things are the same because you know better. Your weakness is that you want things to be different. Mm. So we're just going to strengthen that. Um, Olivia, how much time? (laughs) A minute? Yeah, just about a minute. Okay. So, Raul, what number are you at? I'm a lot lower. I would say five, four, something to that extent. Okay. So now when we get down to that, that's about manifesting. Number four is the sacral energy that manifests in the third dimensional plane. And so we're going to strengthen you to that. And everyone that's listening now, listening after. Did your number just change? Because we got to go. <laughs> and if it didn't, that's okay too. Yeah, yeah. I got yeah, you. Got your, I got yeah. you're at a three now. So I want to thank you so much for calling in. It was so good to hear your voice. Happy New Year! My Happy wife, New Year! <laughs> Happy New Year to you too. And, yeah, and thank, thank you. you always. Yeah, and thank you, um, Transformation Talk Network, and Pat and your team. And Olivia for producing and for the audience for listening now, later. (laughs) We'll be back next Wednesday. Bye. 
been listening to The Truth Is Funny with Colette Steffen. Tune in to The Truth Is Funny with Colette Steffen each Wednesday at 8 a.m. Pacific, 11 a.m. Eastern on TransformationTalkRadio.com. Join Colette on the Higher Self Network as she provides energetic shifts and consistent results in every area of life, inspiring listeners to shine their brilliance and ensure success while roaring with laughter as they recognize the humor of the giant cosmic joke. The truth is funny. Visit thetruthisfunny.com for more information. That's thetruthisfunny.com. The views expressed on this program are those of the host, guests, and callers, and do not necessarily reflect the views of the station, its management, or advertisers. You're listening to Transformation Talk Radio.